1,001 miles. Oh boy. I think that means I'm supposed to change the oil or something. Probably. It's not like this is the first ride of the year. I, I was out uh, yesterday and we've already been up north once this year, but for some reason I'm nervous. I don't know what my problem is. Maybe because there might be snow. Oh yeah, look at that. I kind of forgot about that. <clears throat> This is like ice. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, that's worse than snow. Well, this sucks. Yeah. Hopefully, it won't be much of it. Didn't Agreed. See, didn't see that coming. No. No, there was a little bit on the side of the trail on the way up Whoa. here. Whoa! I thought we were gonna. Thought we were gonna be okay. I thought we got our snowy ride in for the year. Mm -hmm. And snow actually isn't that bad. It's ice that's the problem. Whoa, this is greasy. Oh, good. <laughs> Look at these hills. Whoa. Yeah, it really is. It doesn't even seem like it should be, but it is. I suppose it's just still wet. I already had one close call. <laughs> At least it's not too swampy in here yet since we had the, the mild winter and the dry spring here. So hopefully the, the ATV trails open up. I got my spark arrestor in now and I got my trail pass ordered. Yeah, look at these hills. I wish I could look at them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so a thousand miles on the Tenere 700, and I have to say, I've uh, I pretty much had a smile for just about all those miles this bike because, whoa, been pretty much nothing but awesome. There's definitely some stuff that kind of right off the get-go I didn't like most of that. Uh, I've got changed, actually. Woo, this like almost has too much power now. <laughs> like down low, you just tap it and it goes. I've recently come across a, a couple things in addition to the, the six things that I that I did a video on that I didn't like about it, but they're all really pretty small and there's, I, I don't really think there's any bike that you can buy off the shelf that's kind of ready to do the, the type of stuff that we're doing. I mean, I think you can, you can kind of run them. Uh-oh, you can kind of run them that way. Oh, come on. Are you passing me? <laughs> no. Oh. No, I'm saying I'll back here. Okay. With my cooling fan on, thanks to my two-wheel Dynaworks ECU reflash. Running nice and cool. Uh-oh. Ooh, this doesn't, doesn't look like it's getting better. Did you get it going? Yep. This looks hairy. But yeah, this bike has really done everything that I've asked it to. And if you guys haven't seen it, you should check out the, the comparison video Jerry and I did between this bike and his. Uh, this just handles so much, so much lighter uh, through stuff like, like that that we just went through. You making it? Yeah, more or less. Okay. And uh, this is, a, uh, of course, just an absolute joy to ride on the road. Uh, I took yours home for you the other day, and I noticed that it really was a lot more like a sport bike on the road than this is. So I think it just kind of makes sense that, that this would be better off the road then. And uh, I think it definitely is. I really wasn't sure what to expect coming from uh, the slightly lighter uh, KLR 650. But uh, other than this thing being a little bit taller, uh, for me anyways, it's a heck of a lot better for off-road riding. And uh, on-road, like I said, is just an absolute blast. I, I have so much fun every time I take this thing out on the pavement. And it, uh, it definitely performs well, especially now with all the the kind of fine-tuning stuff that I've done with it. <sighs> you all right? Yeah. What are you thinking there, Jerry? You, you still thinking Tenere or not? Yeah, I'd like to get one. Yeah, which might be still kind of hard to do. I've seen people getting theirs uh, now that have pre-ordered them. So hopefully that'll that'll pick up and uh, you'll actually be able to buy yourself Tenere if you want. But it sounds like the, uh, the Africa Twin or the Translamp or whatever it is, I guess I heard last night on the on the live stream uh, that we did, somebody said that the uh, the Translamp thing that's kind of been going around is because uh, Honda actually re uh, re registered the name or re redid something with it. So they must be must be planning on doing something with it. Uh oh. Oh. Think we can move that? Sure. It's hot. When did it, when did it turn into summer? I don't know. I'm dying <laughs> already. <laughs> yeah. Big deer. 75 degrees i think that must be because there's heat coming off my bike yeah i don't think so <laughs> it's supposed to be 65. Oh. Ooh. Oh. 
There. Now mine won't start again. <laughs> oh no. We've got a picture of uh, Honey Badger picking berries, I think, on this trail oh, when yeah? she was pregnant. Uh, yeah. Now just start. There we go. Yeah. I almost got 20,000 on here. Really? 700 shy. So if you take a left, that goes out. If you take a right, that goes where we went with Rick. Oh, really? Yep. Oh, I, I recognize this. There are huge ruts up ahead. Yeah. <laughs> Looks like they must be logging it though or something, huh? This is all cleared off. Yeah, maybe they uh, fixed the road too. Yeah, that'd be nice. In the rut we go. It's not that deep. I still just hate them though. Yeah, yeah, they're not, not a whole lot of fun. We went right last time, right? Uh, I think we did oh, both. We, we went right, we ran into a bunch of swamp. Uh, we did, yeah. I'm not sure what left will get us. That kind of looks messy though. All right. Well, what, I mean, whatever you think. I think left actually might loop around anyways, so. See, this is why I never wash my bike, because now I, I don't want to go through this. <laughs> I did wash it for like, the, the second time though, and it was nice and clean. Not anymore, no. Woo! I heard that. <laughs> yeah, this thing pulls e wheelies like ridiculously easy I now. Oh, I saw that. I was yeah. so jealous. <laughs> oh, it does. It's it's insane. Now, can I actually stay on top of this? I doubt it. Uh, I'm going in. <laughs> Woo! -hoo. Woo! -hoo. Whoa! Whoa. Oh, that hurt. Are you pinned? Uh, no, I'm good. All right. Uh, I just clanked my leg a good one. You okay? Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, I'll see if I can sneak past you and I can help you pick it up. Uh, I hate the mud. Uh, I think, isn't that where... Oh, there's a stick down. Uh, isn't that where Rick uh, put his bike down? I wouldn't doubt it. I really got to learn to... Now I'm with my feet on the ground here. That's not a good way to go. Um, I really got to learn to not touch the clutch on this thing. It can pretty much lug itself through without even touching the clutch. Are you picking that up by yourself? No. I'm uh, getting uh, I'm getting over my pain. <clears throat> okay. Woo. Yeah, I will wait for you. <laughs> yeah, it's too hot for picking it up yourself today yikes uh, I would have picked it up myself as laying on its uh, totally on the side but it's kind of up a little bit so oh, yeah I wasn't too worried about it your lights are still on oh. so what do you want to do you want me on that side yeah okay Woo. yeah I can see why you went down Ready. Oh. Oh. Uh, you got it uh, sort of yeah this will be interesting. <laughs> oh, I got to get out of here. <laughs> I don't know if I can. Can you move that? <laughs> oh, the sticks? Yeah, I can do that. I forgot, I forgot they were there. Yeah, I'll be going through this kind of pretty slow today. That's fine with me. Every time I start to get my confidence up, something like that happens. <laughs> yeah, there's something to be said for being slightly cautious. That's for sure. Woo! You fall down? Almost. I can't get out of this rock. Uh, yikes. There's a guy that made videos a long time ago called Half Throttle, and he's trying to climb this crazy hill on a KLR, and I don't think he ever ended up making it, but he says, sometimes a man has to go out into the woods and do something difficult. And I think we do that every Saturday. <laughs> uh, that's fun, though. And we get to do it together. Everybody's so jealous of that. I'm gonna try to oh wow I guess I hurt my knee too that's what's great about being a geriatric you don't feel pain like younger people <laughs> <laughs> geriatric you believe huh? <laughs>
first person that calls me that I'm going to pop them in the head. Because <laughs> is that is that technically your classification now? Anybody over fifty. Oh, no, well, you're still kicking. So all right. Yeah, these are some big rods. Oh yeah. Oh, right on the crown. Oh oh. I'm going in the rut. Holy shit, that's a big rut! Whoa! Oh man, I don't know. Are you I making it? I, I don't know to try. Like I said, it's so freaking deep. Yeah. And then mud. Which I'm surprisingly getting used to pretty easy. This is a. Ooh. I'm trying to pull a wheelie, I just spun on my mud packed slick back there. Uh, I'm getting surprisingly used to, to how tall this thing is. You doing alright? Uh, let's find some gravel. <laughs> I, well, uh, I, I gotta say, I was really enjoying the ride up here. I was almost kind of not wanting to go off road, but oh, I'm glad we're here. Uh, Oh, I hear a tiger. I hear a tiger. This trail would be nice when it dries up. Yeah. Should climb that hill. Ooh. Try the Sherpa, I would. <laughs> do you know oh. what? Oh, it's all right. Whew. Go ahead. Uh, do you know. Whoa! Yeah, what is going on? It's like it looks so dry. I know it's greased. Weird. Um, yeah, I guess at least when it when it looks wet, you're ready for it. How's your mesh coat feel? Nice. Mine's actually a lot better too. I got the vents open and I got my liner pulled out, and I feel much better. Oh, and I got my whoa! I got my uh, vents on my pants open too. That actually feels like it's making a pretty big difference. Oh, really? Yeah. Just like your brain tells you you could go, <laughs> then your tire kicks out on you. Yep. So. No, oh, no, no! Yeah, you think you're on nice dry grass, and I guess you are. There's just a, a bunch of an inch worth of mud underneath it. Oh well. That's a good way to put it, I think. And here I'm gonna slide down that hill. Oh, don't do that. And you're gonna have to tow me out. Oh no! Woo. I can feel the back tire hitting rocks and give me a little propulsion. <laughs> <laughs> oh, mine's gonna overheat. I am nervous as shit on this stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, with good reason, I think. Yeah, I think so. Oh, yep, I feel the rocks. Do you? Yeah. Oh, are you still trying to get up? Yeah, yeah, I got, I kind of crawled up close to you. I was going to try to ride up next to you and then realize that that was a really bad decision. Woo! Who made her? Tractionator's got me through. Oh yeah, throwing the mud out of the tires. All right, good idea. There's actually a, a right that I would like to take here to see if we can get out that way. That would actually be shorter. Shorter sounds good. Are there gravel roads around here that we can go on for a while? <laughs> uh, there probably are somewhere, yeah. I think there'll be, we might hit gravel roads if we take that way. Ooh, that sounds nice. My bike? Yeah, sure. <laughs> Not quite what I meant. Hmm. I should be standing up on all this shit. Then it's farther to fall down. It is. Yeah, you, I don't know what I did. I was up on my pegs and had to plant my foot. I think I was just kind of like creeping along and then just kind of like you can't really sit down. You pretty much have to just like step off. Looks like a better road. This uh, must be the other one, huh? The, uh, the right here. Uh, we got to go right? Uh, I think we can. Because you think that looks... Oh, I see, because you're saying that looks better. Well, I don't know. Yeah, let's try to the right and just see where it goes. Ah, back down in. Ah. Oh, yeah, don't don't go in that part. You made it up there? Ah, I did. 
Yeah, so I kind of kind of meant to, to talk about we're, we're doing a little bit too much uh, intense writing to really do too much talking, but uh, the guys that are that are in the the KLR Delusionals group all uh, really think it's neat that we get to ride together, and I think they're all pretty jealous about it. And I think I think for good reason too. I think it's not not a very common thing. I think especially people my age. I think most most people my age aren't uh, aren't really interested in motorcycles. My age and younger, I guess. I think my age group kind of still is, but yeah, to be able to to have us both on on bikes that we can do this is I think pretty cool it's not not a real common thing and to be honest I mean that for the longest time I mean you you've always ridden motorcycles as long as I can remember and I, I was kind of always interested in them and the got sport bikes and that was kind of cool for a while but just wasn't all that interested in going fast or really road riding and I always liked off-roading in my truck or on the the four-wheelers and I don't know why it took took so long to to come to this conclusion that this was the way to go but oh man I'm so glad we did oh wow look at this Pretty cool. See, you can't see this on a sport bike. No. You can, you can hit a deer going 155, but you can't see this. Boy, that is cool. How oh, awesome. I get to do it with my dad. Yeah, and my son. And pretty soon your son, then I can retire. Then you got to get a side by side and follow us. <laughs> no, I'll get a nice little dirt bike. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that would that would definitely make this easier. And I, I've had that comment a lot that people say like, you know, when we're doing something like this, why don't we just get a dirt bike? And I'm like, well, well, I have one. It's just more fun on this bike. Yeah, <laughs> it is. It's more of a challenge. I don't know. I mean, you could rip through here on a 250, and and some days, hey, I mean, that's a lot of fun. But I'm not skilled enough. Whoops, to to really push a, a 250 real hard, and we don't really have the the trails for it. I guess Harrison knows a little bit, but these just being out here is kind of a an adventure, and is uh, is pushing them to to make it through. And I don't know, it's a lot of fun. It's a challenge. It is, yeah, and I think I think you you said that once that uh, you and I our, our minds kind of work and it kind of the same that the only time that that our minds are quiet and focused is when we're doing stuff like this. Otherwise, you got a million other things in your mind, can't pay attention to anything, and it's always always running through stuff that you don't really want to be thinking about. But then out here, you you're uh, you're too busy focused on trying to keep the bike up to think about anything else. Uh, well, I think I found us a camping spot. Oh yeah, a nice one. So I guess that's good. But yeah, this is about it. There's a uh, a lake through there somewhere but yeah I think this is the end of the trail kind of neat we'll get to the portion of the video right now anyways where I'm gonna cut this out for the the regular viewers part that I'm gonna cut out will be on the on patreon so if you're interested in that check down in the description otherwise we'll we'll pick up when we get back to to a different part of the trail here uh, yes yeah, so we got to take a left because to the right is no trespassing oh is this gonna be possible oh yeah not a problem some of those traction rocks yeah that's what i thought too do you see how many times i almost fall over on this thing yeah <laughs> i don't know if you just need new tires or a new bike altogether or what i think that front tire, maybe a little of both yeah the front tires for you gotta order me that one yeah yeah oh, oh rocks thank god Ooh, yikes i go right off what? the edge here Ooh. oh no <laughs> I was trying to show off and creep along next to you, and then I was uh, slowly getting to further and further to the left. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Sand. Whoever thought you'd like to see that? <laughs> <clears throat> oh, 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 oh. Uh, not a problem. Oh, wow. Oh, no, I ain't going to start. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, I'm going to get off and kind of spot you through this. Oh, but no. You don't think so? It's not bad. Oh, maybe it is. I don't think I want to go down there, but I don't think I have a choice. Yeah, I don't know if you can pass the top. Oh, boy. Yikes. Uh, uh. Gotta get it over there. Uh, you don't think we can just go just straight up in your track or in the rocks? I probably can't put the kickstand down, can I? No, probably not. Oh, I thought you were pulling back. On oh, it. no. Oh. Sorry. 
You want to hold it up for a second? Uh, yeah. Yeah. <sighs> I went through this on the KLR by myself. This must have washed out a lot. Whew. I remember being rocky, but this is insane. Yeah. We only got like 10 feet to go. We do. And it'll be fine. Yeah. Yeah, we can just take it nice and slow. Is it a good idea taking my helmet off? Uh, no. Just do it for the for the channel. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> if not, for your brain. Okay. Oh, you even got a, some sort of... Uh, no, it's good. It looks, it looks good there. <laughs> it won't stay, though. We should start bringing a toe strap. I have a rope. <laughs> you do? I do. Yeah. Good idea. Oh, I'm going to get stuck in there. So what do you think we should do here? Uh, turn around? <laughs> Probably not. Uh, I guess that's an option. I was joking, but... Yeah, I don't know. I don't really see a good line. Um, oh, right down the middle, though. Yeah, well, and then when you get to the rocks, I guess left, I think, you're yeah, going to have to yep, yep, sneak yep. in the tire track there. I guess that yeah. doesn't look terrible. We're being pretty optimistic. It might have to just stay here. Well, yeah, I suppose. Look at that. Yeah, it's stand by itself. Packed with f***ing mud. <laughs> oh... <laughs> Look how far the front tire went down. Yeah. Huh. I'll let her cool down for a second. Or you want to just go? Oh, no. We can cool down. <sighs> Looks like nice riding up ahead. It does, yeah. Yeah, I think actually maybe I'll drop my coat off up there. Yeah, there was really no place to avoid this. No. But I think all you do is get right to there and we'll be fine. Is that going to stay? I'm going to run my coat to the top. Hmm. Maybe it won't now. Now oh. for sure won't now that I mess with it. Oh, what did you do? Uh, sorry. Hey. Hmm. If we threw some sand in there, it might really help, but I don't see any. No, yeah, I suppose not. It's in short supply here. You think I should get on it or stay off of it? I think where you are right now, I think you might end up in the mud or on the in, sorry in the rut. If you take or if you if you're on it, I think we might need to walk it at least past that because I think going down in that wouldn't be fun. Oh. Yeah, this is pretty mushy. Oh boy. <laughs> it's sinking, so it's standing up itself now. Oh no. I'm sure. Oh yeah, there's like a pond up here. Ooh. Boy, this is some... <sighs> nasty stuff. Ah! You okay? <laughs> yeah. Oh no! <laughs> Son of a bitch. Ah. It's stuck in the mud. Alright, I'll be there oh. in a second. I'll be there in a second, hold on. Oh man. Oh, it really is stuck. My clutch lever looks okay, though. That's good. Oh, my God. No wonder I can't pick it up. Wow. Yeah, this... I guess it's somewhat stable at the bottom. You think we got to turn around? Oh, we certainly could. That, I mean, there's a bit of riding to do if we do, but... Man, I don't know. This, this doesn't look like it was made for bikes. This is all pretty washed out, and like this part here, I just don't see a good spot. I mean, we're gonna be bashing our cases up on these rocks. I think maybe now that I ran our coats up there, I think maybe turn around is the smart decision. I broke my my guard, and I'll have to buy a bark buster. Oh no! What this. happened to your mirror? It's stuck in the mud. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you want me on the seat back side? Yeah. One, One, two, two three. three. Uh, Okay, it wasn't that stuck in the mud. <laughs> it was heavy. Um, does it have reverse? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> of course it does. I might still have it in gear, though. Oh, man, we got to go back through all the where I wiped out and stuff like that. Oh, yeah, I suppose. Do you think you're really going to bash your pan on there? Uh, yeah, I don't know. I Take, take a walk and, and look up there. I got it. <laughs> Oh, I think we get up to here, Ben. I don't think we're going to have a problem. You don't think so, huh? I don't see hitting pans. If we can't move it, then we go backwards. 
<laughs> God, I wish we had about a hundred pounds of sand to dump on here. Yeah. The tire keeps sinking more and more. I think once we get it moving, it might go, but yeah. Maybe a nice four-wheel drive will come along. And <laughs> you ready? Uh, yeah. Oh. Oh, it's not in gear. What? No, it is. I got it in gear. Okay. We're going backwards. <laughs> Ah, man, I was enjoying this road. We are going backwards, aren't we? Hopefully. <laughs> oh, there we go. Oh. Adventure bikes. <laughs> Adventure bikes. I think that front tire's in that same fucking rut. <laughs> We're moving. Yeah, we sure are. One, two, two three. three. Uh. Go. Uh. Oh, that looks like your foot. Yeah. Hey. There we go. All right. Well, you can uh, go ahead and make fun of us if you want, but I am definitely glad we did not try that. That was <laughs> that, that mud was way too deep, and those rocks are way too big. And try not to care about this bike. And I want to ride it and see what it'll do but I didn't want to see what it would do through that <laughs> that seemed like a good way to get a rock in your gas tank being how hard it was to pull it down the hill I can't imagine going up the hill no the back tire wasn't helping much oh that's weird my bike won't start what's going on hmm that was weird it's running now oh yeah I can hear it yeah I had to give it gas huh strange Well, it's actually going into the to the shop on Monday. Why? Uh, I gotta get the. Oh, I gotta turn my ABS off too. I gotta get the uh, the the throttle bodies need to be synchronized. So it's going into and back to Anago Yamaha to to get done on Monday. We're gonna go for a walk up there while we wait. Look at this. <laughs> Was that us? Yeah, yeah must I been. don't think so. That was me. I could see your tire track not in that shit. <laughs> I'll be doing a lot of walking getting out of here. <laughs> it's just so slippery. Yeah, Even right here, is. you know, it's just like, why? I think my tire is bent. Oh, yeah, probably from being reefed around in there, I suppose, huh? I can't turn my ABS off. Isn't that strange? Yeah, that is weird. I wonder what's going on with it. Uh. Uh, yeah, so I suppose we'll uh, we'll probably call it quits for this video anyways. I think we will uh, probably just keep the cameras rolling after that, and I will just kind of film the, the way out here for the patrons, so that'll be a, a patron-only video. And uh, if, if you guys feel like I'm pushing that a lot, all of a sudden I, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to kind of stop. Uh, I just kind of wanted to let everybody know that I did switch it around, so if you want to just join for a dollar a month, there's the, the option to do that now. And if you join for five dollars a month, you get a, a Swanky Cat T-shirt out of the deal, and you get all the all the long extended videos, no ads, and you get uh, the video that we're gonna we're gonna finish filming on the way out here. That'll be exclusively patron only. So if you guys are interested in that, feel free to take a look. Otherwise, take care, stay safe, stay swanky, get out and ride if you can. And if you want to see more videos like this every week, click the Swanky Cat logo down at the bottom, and. Uh, Get out and enjoy this beautiful world if you can. If you can't, check out some more videos up at the top. And wish us luck for getting out of here. <laughs> yeah. Luck. <laughs>